we go from 32 days of silence from Schumer to 760 days plus of silence from John Durham. Yes, it's been that long since Attorney General Bill Barr appointed Durham to investigate who concocted the anti-Trump Russian collusion hoax. He's been a special prosecutor now for 175 of those days, and still we have Zippo. Where's the Durham report? America deserves to know who was behind the lies, who pushed the phony investigations, who tried to ruin the lives of so many associated with President Trump, and we still have nothing. Is the investigation even active? Has the Biden administration effectively shut it down? There is talk we could have a report by summer, but we have been told the report has been coming for over a year now. All we want to know is where is it? So call me a pessimist, but I do not have high expectations for Biden's DOJ and FBI when it comes to finding out who spied on the Trump White House. And on top of that, I do not have high expectations for the mainstream media and big tech oligarchs to report on it fairly, or at all for that matter. So the question remains, it is what Americans want to know. Will there ever be any real accountability here? Let's ask Republican Senator of Tennessee, our friend Marsha Blackburn. Senator, great to have you back on the program. And good to be with you. And I tell you, you're asking the questions that so many Tennesseans are asking. You know, one of the reasons why I'm asking is I'm getting emails every day from viewers saying, what happened to the Durham report, Senator? Is there any uh, information about where that stands? We know that it is still in process. It was slowed down because of the pandemic. We do anticipate that that report will come to us at Senate Judiciary Committee. And the sooner we get it, the sooner we'll be able to get some answers. And I know that your viewers and uh, my constituents are looking forward to having that report and getting some answers. Do you think at all, is there any chance the Biden administration is slowing this up? We would hope that the Biden administration would be hands off because he is a special prosecutor. And what was done to President Trump and to those individuals that were around him, part of his cabinet, part of his team, it is completely unacceptable. And people want to know if there was criminal conduct that was involved in this. People that did wrong need to be prosecuted.